the brothers and sisters for Jesus Christ and the Jesus gospel. Jesus proclaims, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The statement, these words, reveals the mystery of the Eucharist. As you know, the Eucharist is a gift of grace and it is a sign of God's unending love and it is a promise of eternal life. As I was meditating upon this gospel's passage, I asked myself, why should we participate in the Mass? What happened if we don't? Does it make any difference at all? Jesus answered to these words, John chapter 6, verse 56, says that those who eat his flesh and drink his blood abide in him and he in them. My dear friends in Christ, in Hebrew culture, flesh and blood means whole life, whole self. In the Bible, Christ means it is a participation and sharing fully in his life. Even St. Paul said, when we drink from the cup of blessing and eat the shared bread, we are sharing in the body and blood of Christ. That means in each Eucharistic celebration we acknowledge that we are one with God through Christ, both physically and spiritually. Means Saint Ignatius of Antioch, he calls the flesh and blood of Christ as a medicine of immortality. That means Jesus through the Eucharist is our medicine and health. So, as a Catholic, as a baptized person, if you are not attending the Eucharist, if you are not interested in receiving communion, can be harmful to our soul, which can gradually weaken our soul. Because as a Catholic, as a baptized person, in the Catholic Church, Eucharist is considered as source and summit of our Christian life. So when we eat this and drink this flesh and blood of Christ in the Eucharist, He lives in us and we live in Him. We receive this life, we receive this mercy, we receive this forgiveness, we receive this unconditional love. We need this bread. We need this heavenly bread as our daily bread because it addresses our weaknesses, it addresses our suspicions, it addresses our fears, it addresses our difficulties in life. So we all have a choice. We have to choose eternal life in Jesus Christ in the Eucharist or spiritual death without it. We pray the Holy Spirit guides us and gives us the strength to choose wisdom to choose wisely.